I got fired uh, by the U.S. Uh, I was thinking about the next challenge. But when you get let go in July, the timing's not perfect. And a month later, um, um, we knew that Egypt was looking for a head coach because uh, when I worked in the U.S., my goalkeeper coach uh, was Zach Abdel. And Zach is uh, Egyptian-American. Um, but through Zach, um, they made contact, went and visited, and thought, okay, this is a unique opportunity, an amazing challenge. Uh, sat down with my wife, and we uh, said, okay, we're going to try. We're going to go for it. When you get there, nothing is below the radar screen because the recognition factor is, is through the roof. And at a certain point, you accept it. Uh, I'll never forget, uh, my wife and I were walking to the market in the area near where we live, and a uh, taxi went by and stopped. And uh, a woman got out of the taxi and walked over to us and said, I want to thank you and your wife for everything you do. When I got there, all that anybody talked about was the World Cup, because during this period of success in the African Cup of Nations, there had been failure to qualify for the World Cup. You know, I don't know much Arabic, but I, I learned early that Casa Alam means World Cup, because that's what people would talk about always, Casa Alam, Brazil, we must go to Brazil. Everyone in Egypt is challenged by, by what's going on every day. And so, when I went to Egypt, I knew it would be a test of all of the skills that I had accumulated over the years, uh, like a, a final exam to say, how good are you at sizing up people, situations, managing? That when we come in together, it's our chance to focus on, on this special opportunity that we have to go to the World Cup. So I knew it was gonna be a, a total challenge. But what I didn't expect at all was Port Said. Port Said changed the landscape forever uh, because the league stopped, uh, players no longer knew uh, if they had careers, and yet in the midst of all that, the one thing that didn't change was the goal to get to the World Cup. So we had to adjust. Uh, we figured out ways to have camps and friendlies when uh, the teams weren't up and running, when players weren't getting paid. And, and we would say to the players over and over that when we play our first World Cup qualifier in June, uh, none of this matters. That on that day, uh, we're gonna put 11 on the field, they're gonna put 11 on the field, and the ref's gonna blow the whistle and it's 90 minutes. been uh, difficult, tough, um, but at the same time, uh, this feeling that we are trying to get to the World Cup, uh, the response of the players to the challenges, uh, the belief that they have that we can do this, that's a strong sense of motivation for all of us and what we're doing. We can't let any of the the trouble and the distractions take us away from this goal because the, the people of Egypt are counting on the team. As a coach, you draw on previous experiences all the time. Things that were done well, things that uh, remind you of situations that you face. <laughs>
the group that we had in Chicago turned out to be really special. But in the early part of that season, it was still coming together. Everyone was still trying to get to know each other. And at a certain point, you could tell that we had something that was different. And the players in Egypt, as I've gotten to know them, get a sense of their backgrounds, what they're all about. I have great respect for these guys. Uh, I like them. And I do think that an outsider's perspective during this difficult period has, has actually helped. Because I think the perspective that says, look, uh, yeah, things are tough right now, but it doesn't change our chance. It doesn't change our opportunity. So far, I think that's been, been part of our strength. The experiences in Africa are really incredible. You know, the children that you see in Africa, the, the hope that they have in their eyes, the smiles that they have. They love football. They love being around the game. They love touching a ball. And so, you know, you, you appreciate uh, what you see around you. You know, the world of football in Africa is an amazing one.